Stephanie Stitches here. Welcome to my channel where together we sew. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I'm happy to see you. And if you're brand new, don't for forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell for notifications for new videos and for when I go live, which is most Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I've had a bunch of people ask me what I do on Saturdays, what my life looks like. Um, and so I thought I'd come on really quick and make this video why I'm sitting here in the parking lot. <laughs> so Saturdays are a bit crazy in my house. Um, I have to get everybody up. Um, I went grocery shopping already this morning. I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting for my daughter. She's at ballet class. And then I drive like a crazy person to get home. <laughs> Not crazy really, but I drive home. Uh, her dance studio is about an hour away from our house. So an hour there, hour back, uh, I drive home and I get ready for Saturdays with Steph and I try to have dinner ready for my family before I go live so I don't have people banging on the door asking where food is. <laughs> so that's my Saturdays. Um, and then after Saturdays with Steph, I typically um, spend time with my family. So we'll sit down and watch a movie or, you know, everybody will sit on the couch and just read but be together. So that's kind of what I do. Anyway, so since I have an hour to kill, <laughs> in the car, I thought I'd go ahead and do kind of like a massive box opening. So the mail came before we left today, which is very unusual. Usually they don't come until about an hour after we le we leave for ballet. And I think the mail person is trying to get done soon or early today so they can start their holiday weekend, which good for them. So yay and yay for me because today was a very happy mail today. A day where you get no bills and you get quilting things in the mail is always a good day. <laughs> so I got quite a bit of things. So I want to show you guys what I got today. It's a good haul and I'm super excited. So the first thing I got was my Sweetwater Label Company. A bunch of you have asked me how I label my quilts. I use the Sweetwater Labels and they have a subscription. It's very inexpensive um, and they send you once a month a couple usually one or two labels depending on how the size of them um, with your name printed on them so this is this month's labels super super pretty and perfect that they arrived literally on Memorial Day weekend <laughs> I haven't labeled my pride quilt yet my American pride quilt yet so one of these is going to go on the back of that quilt so I'm super excited that I got these so um, it comes in this little brown paper bag that gives you the directions on how to use it because these are iron-on. Um, they are iron-on and you don't necessarily have to sew them to keep them on, but I always do. I just do a top stitch around the edge of where I put it just to keep it from falling over. So they come in this white envelope and then this little baggies inside there. So that's the Sweetwater Label Company labels. And I'll link the... Um, websites for all these things down below the labels i can't remember how much they are but it's very nominal it's very inexpensive i think with shipping it's 15 dollars or less a month and i don't think it's even that much but it's i've had it for so long i honestly can't remember how much it is so a lot of you may have already seen this because i know a lot of people have posted the video but mine was stuck somewhere for a while i'm not sure what happened but it's okay, it made it, but I finally got my um, So Yeah Basics box. Um, I took it out of the outer wrapping, but I haven't opened it up yet. And I never looked at anybody else's video because I wanted to be surprised. But I know that there's other people like in my state that are like, oh, do you like the box? Have you seen the pattern? I'm like, I haven't even gotten mine yet. And that was last week. So mine decided to just take a little snooze before I got here and that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one open and see what's in here. Oh, I think I just broke the box. <laughs> this is tight this month. Not only did it take a while to get here, but it doesn't wanna be opened. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So this is what it looks like. When I open it, this is what I see. And they always put like a little dad joke in here. <laughs> It says, I ordered a chicken and an egg online. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're funny. Okay. And then they always put like a cute little sticker, which you can put on your sewing machine or around your um, sewing room or if you like stickers. This one says, and they lived 
happily ever after and it's got a little sewing machine on it so that's pretty cute and then um, the way that these guys work is um, they don't give you a paper pattern they have a video tutorial and then there's the PDF that you can download of the pattern now they've been a little bit behind putting those things up I don't know if it's because they're moving and all that stuff but they get there eventually so it's okay so I'm gonna cover this up because this is for people who bought the box only but you scan there's a QR code under here you scan this you get the tutorial you get the pattern um, so I don't know what the pattern looks like because um, I haven't scanned this yet because obviously I just opened the box so I can't share that I don't know um, but that's how this box works now I believe their subscription is full um, but I did ask Brody uh, who's one of the so yeah brothers um, if folks could get on a waiting list and I do believe he said if they would like to they should email so um, sir sometimes that people might cancel for whatever reason and you might be able to jump in so if you're interested in this box go to so quilting.com and go to their email and send them an email and say hey I'd like to be on a list a wait list if anything opens up I haven't gotten one yet that I'm disappointed in the fabric's been great um, so this year's last year they did a grunge box so you got different colors of grunge every month this year is a basics box the basics box is every month they go to a new uh, fabric company or a different fabric company and they get some of their basics um, and so I sell fabric but I signed up for this because I only have an account with a couple of fabric companies not all of them and they've got access to a lot of them so I wanted this box to check out new basics because basics aren't just plain solid fabrics solid fabrics are definitely a basic but there's lots more besides solids um, so a lot of companies have like grunge is considered a basic um, Stonehenge is considered a basic. Uh, anything that's got a little bit of, that's m mostly reads a solid, but can have a little bit of pattern that they keep reprinting and reselling, those are basics for a company. So enough talking, <laughs> let's get this open. So every, um, every month they send with the box, they always send a large school of Orofil thread, which I love, Orofil's my favorite thread, and this month's color is 6722 it's a little bit of a creamy yellow color um, let's see and then this month is from Moda fabric and this is basics from Zen chic now I sell Moda but I don't have this fabric and oh this is great this month the notion is Tula pink hardware and it's Tula's Swiss style angle tweezers which I have a pair of these at home already I love them these are the best tweezers on the market I love 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 these tweezers so I'm super excited to have another pair because I'm gonna be traveling a lot in the future with my quilting retreat business and so I can stick one of these in my bag that I'm gonna have packed all the time to travel with so great I love those and it looks like here's a peek at the fabric and then I'll take them out and show them to you guys let's see what we got in here we got um, six half yard cuts of modern background paper from Zen chic for Moda and these are really beautiful actually um, here's one it's just got it's like white a little creamy white with words on it this would be great if you're doing like a scrappy quilt and you like to have all your backgrounds different this one's really pretty I love this one it's cream with like X's and circles oh I like this one too I love fabric with words I think it's just so cute this one's got um, words and like math problems on it so this one's interesting so far these are this one's more of a grayish no, it's probably not coming across, but it's a very, very light gray, whereas these two were kind of cream. Um, this one's definitely more cream, tan cream, with some gray dots on it. Great blender. Ooh, I like this one. This one's neat. I like all these. Who am I kidding? <laughs> this one's cool. It looks like an old-fashioned newspaper. How neat is that? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
I don't know what I'll use these for, but, um, oh, and it looks like we got another piece of, is it the same? No. Okay, we got another piece with the circles. So this one's got a really light gray, like that other light gray background, and this one's like white. So if you can tell the difference there. But these are great. Love them. Ooh, what a good box. Perfect. So those are great um, blenders. I'm sure they're going to have a fun project to use with those. Um, I've seen recently a lot of quilts made with um, all like creams and whites. And so that would be a good choice for that. So that was the So Yeah box. I don't know what the pattern is yet. I have to look it up. Um, but that's just for... Um, people who get the box anyway so I really shouldn't show it to you um, but even so uh, you have to scan that little code but if you're interested in that box um, go ahead and go to their website so quilting.com and email them and see if you can get on a wait list so the last box I have today is from Primrose Cottage Quilt Shop they're out of Utah and this is the cottage box this is also not a subscription box this is one that they pop up every now and then and you have to kind of grab it when they have it. I um, just ordered this literally, was it yesterday? Maybe it was Thursday night. I think it's Thursday night and today's Saturday. So it got here real fast. I am shocked. I didn't think this was going to come till Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm shocked that this is here so quickly. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this open. They do these, I don't know if it's quarterly. I think it's more seasonally. Um, but I'll link their information down below as of filming this they still had some left but don't quote me because <laughs> I know that I filmed the opening of um, the box that it opened yesterday and then by the time I posted it up they were sold out so hopefully they'll still have some of this one left but I like these guys too I like to support small shops I know so is a big shop and uh, fat quarter shop is a big shop and I like to get those too but I also like to support these smaller shops because these ladies at these small shops having a small sh shop myself I know how hard we work to put these boxes together and how much time and energy it takes so um, I try to support them if I can and if I see a box I'll grab it so okay so this is what it looks like. This one is a big box this time. It came in this big priority mailer box. This is a medium flat rate box. So I don't remember how much this is. I apologize for that, but I will link them down below so you guys can check them out if you want. Oh my goodness. Okay. I see the fabric and <laughs> I've used that fabric for a project and I love it. So I'm really excited. So it looks like we got a mug really really cute Let's see if I can get this open and show you guys it did say fragile on the box and I wondered what was in here oh that's cute I love bees this year they're like a theme this year we got bees something in the sew sampler box and now we're getting this I love that I love coffee so I'll take a coffee mug any day <laughs> so very cute love them I'm gonna put this back in the box that came in fix that in a minute because I am in my car I want it to make it home <laughs> okay and then it looks like um, thank you so much for your order we appreciate it we hope you enjoy what you've included in our summer box this is their summer box this box includes a notepad a seam ripper a mug a paper pattern and a table topper kit with backing and binding included Wow, we got everything. Even if we didn't, I have some of this fabric at home, so it wouldn't have been a problem. But, oh my goodness, they sent us everything. So, great. Only have to add batting, which is normal. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's called Buzzworthy, and it was designed by Lindsay Waite, who is um, the lady who runs Primrose Cottage Quilt Shop. Oh my goodness. This is super cute. I love this pattern. Love, love, love. Those bees are darling. These blocks are darling. Oh, I can't wait to make this. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? And then we have in here, aw, Bee You. Goes with a theme. And then there's a Clover Seam Ripper, which these are great. Another thing I can throw in my travel bag. Can't have too many seam rippers, that's for sure. 
I feel like if you have them laying around, lots of them, there's less chance you're going to use them. And if you don't have them, that's when you're going to need them. <laughs> so, oh, trying to get the fabric open. They wrapped it up in a bag here. So this is the fabric. I'm taking it out of the bag. Very cute. I love this fabric. This is a line from Riley Blake. And um, I made a quilt out of this already for my spring retreat that I had a few months ago. So definitely recognize this line. It's beautiful. It's prettier in person, I feel. Because actually when I ordered it to make my quilt, I wasn't super excited about it. Because these aren't typically my colors. But when it came and I made it, oh, I love it. So here's a black and white. And I'm going to guess that that's for the backing because there's quite a bit. And then for the background. So, um, yes, I'm definitely going to make this project. I sometimes I get these boxes and I'll pass on the projects to other people if it's not something I absolutely love because, you know, we only have so much time to do so many projects. Um, but this one's not getting passed on. I absolutely love this project. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. All right. So that's the cottage box. Okay, this was a absolutely amazing happy mail day. And I killed some time while I was waiting for my daughter. So <laughs> that was fun too. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed all these. I will link um, links down below to all these things. I don't have the prices of any of these things in front of me because I'm in my car. So I'll let you go ahead and check that out. Uh, but thanks for watching and hope you have a great day. See you at Saturdays with Steph. Bye.